Good morning, guys. We are back at our most favorite theme park in the UK, Owen Towers. It's very hot, it's very sunny, and we're here super early. It's about 9.30 now, the park doesn't open until 10 o'clock. And we've heard a few rumors, good rumors, that if you arrive early and you go to Mutiny Bay, then you pretty much get infinite amount of goes to win one of those big dogs or a Pokemon. So hopefully those rumors are true. That's why we're here. Also, we were directed to a really weird place to park our car right near to the roller coaster restaurant. And it's about a 15 minute walk now to the theme park. Obviously the monorail is not open yet. I don't think that opens till gone 10 o'clock. So big, big walk. Actually scratch that. I'm not sure about the monorail. It might be working. It's definitely working, but I don't think there's anyone on it. So I'm not sure. But there would have been a massive queue for the monorail if we did get on it. So walking probably would have been a quicker option. made you earn it by running mm. not sure if they've increased capacity or not but it's a saturday morning uh we had tickets for the water park later on this afternoon uh and i thought well we might as well just go to water towers in the morning and enjoy the theme park but it was so easy to get tickets there was no problem so yeah they might have increased capacity also no temperature check on the way in let's win that dog run tables and chairs are still out so are the marquees i don't think there's any shows or anything going on at the moment yeah, we're so early, nothing's open. They're all shut. Heave ho's not heave hoing. Mordorers mayhem, however you say it, is not mordering anyone. We're so early. We might as well just go queue up for Wicker Man. I really want to win a big dog, um, one of them and an Eevee. I want to win a Pikachu. Are oh, you wanting an Eevee? Yeah, that's a bad one. All right, we want to win one of these big dogs, don't we? Because I want to walk around with that all day long. Quit doing Mordor's Mayhem while we're waiting. Yeah. All right, so we're going to try and win that owl-looking thing. Why do you want to win that? Because it looks like Hedwig from Harry Potter. We got it. We got it. We got the owl. Yeah. Sophia's got to carry it now all day long. <laughs> it's massive. So we took three goes, which was five pounds. I'm useless, of course, so they either hit the thing and bounced out or didn't go in at all. And she said, basically, look, I'll make a deal with you because it's first thing in the morning. If you do another three goes, you can just win. So I tried again, hoping that I'd actually get it in this time and fouled again. So she just let us win, which was a bit of a shame. So basically it cost 10 pounds. We're happy. Obviously, when we get asked about it throughout the day, we're gonna say we won it. We got lucky and we won it. But in all seriousness, every single time we come here, she wants me to play that game to try and win one of these things. And at five quid a go, I don't wanna keep playing. So, so no, it's not completely true that you get it for free or they just give it to you just for the sake of it. And now we're gonna go and enjoy Gangster Granny because in the two months it's been open, I've been on it a bunch of times. Sophia's never been to the world of Davy Walliam, so we need to experience it. Look, if you wanna to go to a theme park, you need to get fit. So yeah, Mardi Gras has completely gone. Remember when they used to have the guitars and the drums somewhere behind me over there? It's all gone now. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that Sophia's pretty much scared of everything. She's getting scared over the thought of Gangster Granny. Yay, we're back. We're here, we've made it to the world of David Williams. Look at all these books, it's like your bedroom. Yeah, so we exit through the shop. If you're lucky, we'll let that man sell us a Cornetto. There's our chevron. Staff outside Gangster Granny are making it really well known that you have to stand on your chevrons. So good work, guys. Sophia's been watching far too much Harry Potter and she started calling these guys Death Eaters rather than Beef Eaters. <laughs> what do you think it is? Um... We've seen the movie and you've got the book. You need to figure it out before we get to the entrance because that's where the answer is. She's right. Oh, you were right, it was cabbage soup. Well done. Yeah, that's your right entrance, Sophia. No one there. I go through the big door, you go through there. I think it's actually a door for Hedwig to get through. It don't fit, it's too big. <laughs> the app advertised the ride at about 70 minutes. It's been about 25 so far and we're almost there, so I reckon about 30 minutes.
fire head wick. And it turns out Sophia hated Gangster Granny. Oh. Free gifts out of stock. Sorry. This looks much more like Sophia's taste. Raji's bottom burp was a lot more bouncy than I thought it was going to be. I'm about, well, I'm probably like 5'10 wearing heels to be honest, but I found it quite difficult to get in. I was a little bit squashed. She was fine, I was squashed on the end. Carousel time. Hedwig's coming for a ride with us this time. Yes, Sophia didn't like the loud effects that were going on in Gangster Granny. The cannon was a bit loud. Is that right? Yeah. This is getting annoying now. Remember, if you win one at 10 o'clock in the morning, you've got to carry it around all day with you. And if you're here till 8 p.m., which is the time it closes today, that's a long time. Not today, not today. It's closed, unfortunately, we've got to walk. That was the first time in feels like forever that I've not worn a mask for the mine train. Only two laps though, same. There's a shark. Only one place to be on a hot day. And it's not the River Rapids. <laughs> That's the thing about the queue line, you're gonna get soaked. I think we had the dodgy boat on Battle Galleons. We got absolutely drenched. We didn't, our well, guns didn't work, did they? <laughs> Sophia's not happy because the guns didn't work properly. So yeah, we got soaked. Oh well, we're going to the walk park in a minute. Super fun Saturday morning over at Owen Towers. It's absolutely roasting out as well. Um, capacity wasn't too bad, to be honest. I didn't think it was very busy at all. I think Wicker Man was about 60 minutes, but we wasn't going on that. Uh, and the Mine Train and Battle Galleons were probably about 20 minutes each, maybe 30 minutes, absolute max. Um, but yeah, felt like the rest of the park was quite empty apart from queue lines. We're off to the water park now. Obviously we can't film in there. Um, but yeah. We got Hedwig. We got the big dog or owl looking thing. So here's a part of Alton Towers that we've never seen before. It's where all the hotels are. So we've got CBB's land over there on the left, the Alton Towers Hotel straight there, and Splash Landings where we're gonna go now for the water park over to the right. To be honest though, we've got absolutely no idea where we're going. So we left the well we left the main car park or the car park near the roller coaster restaurant where we was directed to earlier on, thinking that we had to go, go to the car park at the Splash Landings Hotel. But when we got to the Splash Landings, everything was fully packed or there was too many cars in there. So we had to just basically go back to the old car park. Yay, we found it. We're gonna go swim in. <laughs> Big slides. So in closing, I felt the water park was really good, although it was a little bit on the small side, I guess, and it was quite busy as well, to be honest. Um, but yeah, apart from that, if you get to Warren Towers early enough, you're guaranteed a win on the Mutiny Bay Funfair stands for £10. Normally, I'd completely be against spending more money in a theme park than what you've already spent to, to get in the place, you know, to begin with. Um, especially, you know, you want to go there for the rides and the parades and the attractions and the shows, etc. You don't want to go there and start winning or start trying to win Funfair prizes for £5 a go. But yeah, £10, you're guaranteed a win if you go early enough. Maybe we'll go back soon to try and win that Pokemon. Until next time, let's ship.